properly aligned before I, I swing. Um, and more like trying not to rush my transition so much. Getting so that can, club set. Yeah, so I can stay balanced through the swing. Having an even, even tempo. Yeah. All the way out. Absolutely. Great. Well, I'd like you to practice at least maybe two or three times if you have time over the next week before we meet again. Uh, but you made a lot of progress today. Thank you. Did some good shots. I appreciate all the help. It's really uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Pleasure. Good shot. Any of the alignment aids are helping me when I practice, that's for sure. Well, something that'll help you uh, when you're on the course, since you obviously won't be able to use these alignment sticks uh, when you're on the, the course. Uh, what we can do is pick a blade of grass or, you know, something that you see that's that's pretty obvious to you that you'll remember. Pick one that's in the same line of your target and just try to square up your your face to that little speck. Make it perpendicular. So that way it'll, it'll also help you on the course make sure that you're, you're in a line to your target. Uh, I, I guess I'm to try it without, like, the sticks here. Yeah. All right, so Alex, you said uh, one of the things you wanted to work on in your short game was hitting it closer to the pin uh, when it comes to shots that are 100 yards and closer. Um, one, of those, one of the things we can do, uh, which is what I call the, the clock drill, something you can practice, um, which will help you get a little bit more confidence with your, with your short game, is uh, if you imagine your left arm being the hour, the hour hand on a clock, you can have a different shot where you take it back to about nine o'clock and swing to about three o'clock. So that'll be one distance. And after a while, after you practice after a while, you'll, you'll be able to really tell how far you can hit it with that nine to three swing. And then if you want to hit a little farther, we can say, you know, you'll take that hand back to instead of nine, maybe 10. So it'll, you'll hit that ball a little farther. So you can call that your, your, your 10 to two swing maybe. And, and after that, after you, you really get confident with those different swings, you'll be able to kind of hone in on on, uh, on those distances and help you hit it a little farther, or I'm sorry, a little closer to the pin. Okay. So you'll have different swings even though you're hitting that same club. Yeah. All right. I definitely want to get a little bit more comfortable with like those, like those weird distances. I feel like a lot of the time like I'll take too big of a back swing and then almost what they say, decelerate and hit it fat or trying to find something that's going to help me get a little more consistent with, with the scoring club. Exactly. So, so it'll add a little bit, it'll add a couple more shots to your bag too. And you can do that, you know, with, with every club as well. You can even do that with some of your irons too. If, you know, if you want to hit a little lower shot, you know, with maybe your eight, um, you can obviously hit that punch shot with maybe, you know, a, a nine to three swing. And you get that ball on, you know, on the ground a little sooner. Have a little bit more rollout if you don't have anything like a bunker or water in front of the green. Gotcha. 